You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have the pleasure to have Ward 4 City Councilor Susan DeCastro. Welcome, Susan. Thank you. Happy New Year. And to you as well. Holidays are over, and uh, it's never not time for business, but back to business. You're going to have a ward meeting coming yes. up in January. I am on Thursday, January 9th. Okay. I think that's a Thursday. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm having it at the Davis School on Plain Street Okay. from 6.30 until 8.00. And I will have a few guests. They've accepted my invitation. Um, clerk, clerk uh, Anthony Zioli will be there. Oh, okay. The clerk of the city as well as the clerk of the city council. And Larry Rowley will be there, the superintendent of the DPW. And uh, then he'll be the mayor. Robert Sullivan will be there. Wow. That yes. sounds like an all-star cast. Yes. Okay. And, and I don't really have a program, it's just questions and answers. What do you think? I'll have light refreshments. There's several new restaurants or takeout establishments in Ward 4 that I'd like to give everyone the opportunity to try some of their food. And it should just be a nice way to start off to 2020. Well, that's the kickoff week for government. That's you right. Get the inauguration that's for right. Robert Sullivan, the mm -hmm. in all of you mm -hmm. get sworn in. That's and right. New faces, few new faces on the council. Yes, we have three new faces. And the school committee, we have a few new faces too. That's right. Too. And we'll and have a new council president. Right. And so um, I'm really excited. I think it's going to be a very good year. So you're going to go to veteran status now, right, on the council? Barely, yes, barely. Well, but the honeymoon is over. Yeah. Who knows what to expect? Well, you know, I, I'm high hopes, I think, because I, you, you have a, a gentleman, a true gentleman, who went from the council to the mayor's office. That's right. So I would think that there's going to be a great relationship between the council and the mayor. I, I sure hope so, and yeah. I'm going to work hard to make it good for myself. Mm -hmm. um, Bob understands how the council works. He knows most of the people who are on it from having served with them. And um, I'm just very enthusiastic. Yeah, I think good things are going to come. And, and you, go, you guys go way back. You were on the planning board together, right? We weren't on or it at not the same together, time, but, but we both did serve same on the type planning of issues board, and which is a similar experience. Yeah, That's right. You just work your way up. Something like the that. The government, right? Something like that. Um, it, it, I think it's exciting because it, it, it's all, you know, to see new and fresh, you know, yes. came out of a, a, a difficult situation. And I think uh, the right. interim mayor did a great job, helped yes. the city heal yes. in a lot of ways. Yes, he did. And uh, he's going right back to the council. So yes. he'll understand the mayor's office too. And we'll be very happy to have him back. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, I think the new council president is announced. Yes. Um, Shirley it, Asak. It is Ward 7 Councilor Shirley Asak, yes. So that's a good thing, too. Shirley's I a veteran, so. and she's a really nice person. I, I don't know. I'm very optimistic and hopeful. I, I can't I wait too. to see how things shake out. Yes. I don't think you've ever had the clerk at a ward meeting. I think you pulled off a... A, a, a coup? A coup, yeah. I hope so. He's, long, he's served a long time, and he's very knowledgeable. That's and right. I think that'll be an interesting ward meeting. He seemed to be pleased and surprised when I called to ask him. Mm -hmm. And so I just asked, I, he said, what do you want me to say? And I said, just tell us about how the clerk's office works. And mm -hmm. I'm very honored that he agreed to come. Yeah, I think, it's, mm -hmm. I think it's a first. I know all the board meetings that people have held over the years. And you do a good job of having the ward meetings. It's important, I think, for the citizens to feel that they have a voice. I do, too. I mean, you're yes. a phone call away anyway. You get calls and I'm, deal with constituents yeah, all the I'm time. I'm not perfect, but I, I'm, I think I'm really good at returning calls. And, mm -hmm. and um, it's very interesting. In the first year of my service, um, the calls were kind of basic. My street light's out, or I have no street light. I've got a pothole, and all those kinds of calls. And then this past year, the calls have gotten more complicated mm -hmm. over what kind of issues the people are arising, you know, rats in the neighborhood, um, I'm, we're not sure where, or we'd like to clarify the name of our street. Um, and those are just two examples off the top of my head. I've had some very complicated issues that I'm working on, and they take time. But you're well prepared to do that. Being a lawyer, you've dealt with complicated issues. Being on the planning board, you've dealt with complicated issues. So yes. I know that you have what it takes to do that. What about Ward, now Ward 4 is, where Kmart was, 
right? That's right. So you get a big issue over there you because mm -hmm. I was reading, you know, you got to be careful what you read and what source it is. Well, that's true. But um, I know with Shaw's, there was a long-term lease and there couldn't be another food store in there. That's right. I don't know what the lease situation is with Kmart, but that's like a black hole. It was kind of sad to go over there. Oh, you're the telling me, time. and I was in Kmart every week. That was yeah. a real disappointment. Well, I go for the official word, and so I speak with one of the owners of the plaza mm -hmm. every couple of weeks. Yeah. And we kind of update each other on what rumors we've heard and what we know. And so far, there's nothing. Mm -hmm. there, there's no one to go in there. Um, we've heard rumors about other big box stores being interested, but... They never actually made it to the owner mm -hmm. to make an offer. Now, I know that Sears and Kmart, they've been the company that owns them, they've been trying to monetize their leases. Right. And they all they take so much space for such a long time that they all have um, conditions missing in their leases that are in most other commercial leases. For example, they can assign the lease to anyone without getting the landlord's permission. Mm -hmm. So to a certain degree, the landlord may not know what happens until after it happens. But so far, at least the last I heard, there's been nothing. And so Kmart will continue to pay the lease. Now, I've heard for a while that Ward 4, the South Side specifically, needs another school, needs an elementary I've school. I've heard that too. Badly. I've heard that too. Mm -hmm. I wish if I were a resident and I had kids in the system, build a new school. Because the new schools have all been built all over the city, but not in, not in Ward 4. Four. That's right, not or on the south side. Or in 3, I don't think, either. I think that's right. So maybe that's something down the road. It's, it's not going to produce revenue like a business would. That's right. But you look over there and, you know, everything that we've known mm -hmm. is gone. McDonald's turned into a dollar store. That's right. I loved that Shaw's. I had a lunch counter. That was one of my favorite things to do when my kids were little. I'd go Shaw's. all the way over there. Even when I was on the west side, I went there because mm -hmm. I loved that Shaw's. Mm -hmm. And used to have a drive-in back in the days, which is now residences. But mm -hmm. So I'm sure that'll, that that could be one of the topics. Although I think the topics you got, you got Larry Rowley, who can cover a multitude of topics. And of course, Mayor Sullivan, who is looking for open communication and citizen participation. That's right, he's made so that a priority. I think you get a triple play, Susan. Well, Commissioner Raleigh was supposed to come and speak at my meeting in, I think it was June, and he had a conflict and wasn't able to come, and so he promised I'll come to your next one. So um, I was very pleased when he accepted my offer for January 9th. And so, you know, between the three of them, we can pretty much talk about anything in the city mm -hmm. that my residents are interested in talking about. and taste some new local food, and I'm always trying to get people to go to, we're becoming like Restaurant Row yeah. in Ward 4. We've had a number of new restaurants open. So I think it will be an interesting meeting, certainly a lively meeting. I'm just, right now, I've already started praying no snow, no ice. Sounds like a plan. Yes. We are going to be there, but it's more important to go. Okay? Yes. We're yes. doing that more for the people that can't make it there That's or have right. a conflict. That's what the government channel is for, and you've used the government channel, and we hope you'll continue yes. to do that. We, Ann already uh, kind of roped the new counselor in, Mr. Good. Thompson. He's going to continue the show, mm -hmm. and we'd love to see a whole bunch of shows. We're talking to Mayor Sullivan about what his Absolutely. media and communications plan is, and mm -hmm. that's what we're here to do. So mm -hmm. congratulations. We're Thank you. glad to help you promote it. January 9th, 6.30 30 to, to 8, and you stick to the, the time day frame. day of the school. Davis School, mm -hmm. Food, City Clerk Zioli, Commissioner Larry Rowley, and at that point, the new mayor of Brockton, Robert Sullivan. And me. And Susan. And lots of parking. Thank you. Thanks for being Thanks here. Thanks for having me. Glad Take to care, help. everyone. Glad to help. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.